What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Funko 411. On today's episode, I've got a bunch of Funko Pop and Funko Soda pickups. I got some Funko Soda mystery boxes. I've got some Hot Topic stuff that we got with Hot Cash. So we got some Chase Roulette going in here. I have a few trades, just some random pickups. This is going to be a fun one because it's got a whole variety of stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so let's start it off with some soda mystery boxes. These were mystery boxes from Professor Josh. He was doing like a charity auction where all the sodas were donated by members of the community to try to help out and contributed to the charity. The boxes were $40 each. There were, you know, a handful of chases available and everything else was commons. I'll go ahead and throw an image up there just so you could see what was in the box. Honestly, it's for charity, so it doesn't really matter what's in here. Just wanted to show my support for Josh so we'll rip these open and maybe we'll do these um, slightly different than normal maybe we'll actually just do like a really quick reveal instead of doing like everything one by one I'll show you what I mean all right so we got corpse bride we got barrel we got Batgirl Harlequin Demon, Vampire Jack, Super Chicken, uh, Rat Fink, and another Rat Fink. So I went ahead and I opened everything up and all we have inside is just the pog. So I removed the figure and we're gonna do like a quick little reveal. Ready? We're gonna do them each one at a time. Ready, one, two, common, 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 common. Common, common, common. Oh man, no chases, but that's all right. We, I kind of knew that that was gonna happen when I saw which sodas we got, but that's okay, because it was for charity. So there you go, there's some common sodas for you to take a look at. All right, let's move on to a pickup that I got from Mercari. Uh, these were some pops that I, I, I actually don't really know how I missed them when they originally came out, but they started going up in value and they're pretty expensive. So I figured I'd go ahead and bite the bullet because I found them for a decent price. They were still pretty pretty high, but these were in pretty good shape. And the first one we have is Travis Barker from Blink-182. Let me get it out of the protector. Glad they put it in the protector because, like I said, they are going up in price. So it's nice to get a little bit of protection just to keep them in good shape. So yeah, there is Travis Barker. It's like a $50 pop now, and like I said, I don't remember, it came out just a few years ago, so it's not that old, but I, I must have skipped it. I'm telling you, the Rocks line is seriously underrated by a lot of collectors, I think, because these are always, like, anything in the Rocks line seems to always be a good investment. A lot of these pops, anything in the Rocks line, go up in value uh, pretty consistently, pretty regularly, so... There's Travis Barker. Let's take a look. You probably know what the next one is. I'll go ahead and remove it from the protector also. And it is Mark Hoppus. Really cool pop. I mean, I like the little background too. Definitely stylized after one of their more recent albums. Kind of a bummer that they couldn't get all three members. I know that they're kind of like severed tie, you know, ties and I'm not sure how that relationship is and if it's kind of probably part of why they couldn't do all three. But anyway, there is Mark Hoppus and there is Travis Barker. Cool little set. All right, this next one is also a Mercari pickup. This one was one that I've had my eye on for quite a while, but the price hasn't really changed on it and I, I didn't really have any reason to like grab it much sooner. But I finally found one that was like a pretty good price, so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's like a $30 pop. Um, probably mentioned it maybe in other videos, but I do like to collect some of the alternate, or I call them like non-traditional superheroes. So I wanted to get this red suit Stan Lee. Maybe at some point I'll do a video where I show all of the 
the superheroes that I'm talking about, but this was one I wanted to grab. So there is Stan Lee in the red suit. This is a LA comic kamikaze exclusive from 2015. And this is pretty mint. It's some like regular wear and tear on it, but really good shape. So glad I grabbed that one. There's Stan Lee. All right, next box I have to show you is from Walmart. This was a pretty recent release, but I was really, I was really super impressed with this pop. So it's not even really something I collect, but I really liked this pop in particular. So I wanted to get it. It is super weird that they're doing this, but this was a pop that is sold with the hard stack and it's not in the hard stack. It just gets shipped with the hard stack, which is super weird, but you can obviously already see what the, the pop is. And I'm pretty impressed with Walmart shipping, but here is, this is the Jackie Robinson. And then this is the sliding Jackie Robinson. So there is Jackie Robinson sliding we can get a good look at it maybe i should take it out and that is awesome definitely got some some dust on him but check that out i mean that is just a cool pop it's almost like you're getting a a moment in a pop form instead of having like you know a sports moment or something you're kind of just getting it in in a regular pop so it's really cool they did a awesome job with that it's like the kind of pop that you really want to just put on display. Take a look at the back. There's the number 42 on him. Really cool. Looks great. All right, next up, I have a couple of trades. This first one is from the Pop and Duo. And then this one is from A Team Games and Toys. These are going to be some sodas. This is going to be a pop that I've actually wanted for a really long time that I've never grabbed because it kind of shot up in price and then it was really hard to get. But we worked out a trade that made sense for both of us. Here is what we traded for. And I was actually, I was really hoping that he would send one of their protectors. So take a look at that. You got the pop and duo pop protector on there too. So very nice. Take a look at that. And then the pop is Marvin the Martian from Space Jam. Now the original Space Jam, not the garbage new Space Jam with LeBron. There's only one goat and the goat is... MJ, LeBron, I mean, come on, that movie was, whew, I, I could barely watch it, honestly, <laughs> but anyway, there is, and back in the day, 10 bucks, so this was probably from Box Lunch, back in the day for 10 bucks, now this is like a hundred dollar pop, but there is Marvin the Martian, awesome, so thanks, thanks Pop and Duo for that trade, I'll throw this right back in the protector, very nice protectors. Kind of remind me of the vaulted vinyl protectors. But there you go. Marvin the Martian. All right. And this next one, this one was from A-Team. And what we traded was sodas. So A-Team was looking for the Skeletor, the WonderCon one. That was just a limited piece. So we traded. And I told him, hey, you know what? Just give me whatever. You know, send me something that you think is like a fair trade. So here's some stickers. There's some stickers from A Team. So let's see what sodas we got from them. Are we gonna wanna, oh wow. We got Barney Rubble. That is, that's really nice. That's a good one. If you uh, saw a recent video, I did pull, oh wow, got Bebop too. I did pull a Barney Rubble for the first time ever in a recent video. We got Joker. And what do we got last here? We got Bob Ross. Nice. Let's go ahead and let's rip them. Let's start off with, I'll, I'll lay them down so you guys can see them. Let's start off with Bob Ross. See what we got. Try to do these a little quicker than normal so that the video doesn't drag on, but here's Bob Ross. One, two, three. Yep, we got common. Won't show them off because you guys have probably seen Bob Ross by now. Joker. Joker, he's got his little fedora on if we got the chase, but I'm pretty sure I could feel that we had the common. Yep, we did. Common Joker still, I mean, these are great sodas. I think even if these were all commons, then I think we still had a very fair, very fair trade. So let's see. Got for, geez, if Bebop wants to open, we will rip him. Come on, let's get a little Bebop. Be cool. 
Ready? One, two, three. Oh, whoa, look out. Definitely was not expecting that. We got the orange Bebop Chase. Check that out. That's awesome. Take a look at him. Like I said, I was gonna be I was gonna be happy if we just got all commons, but definitely was not expecting Chase. There is the Bebop. Chase. That's the OG one, not the new black light. The new black light looks very similar, but this is the original one. Alright, now I got Barney. Like I said, uh, pretty much I think it was the most recent video. I finally pulled a Barney Chase. If we could do that again, that would be pretty impressive. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll see. Ready? One, two, three. Nah, just the common. That's all right though. You know what? We got the Bebop chase. That that we did pretty good. We'll give you a quick look at Barney, and then we'll move on to the next boxes that we got. We got a lot of stuff to open. So there's Barney. All right. Next one is a little hot topic chase roulette. This, if I'm if my memory is correct and my labeling of this box is correct. This should be two of the Hades Pops. So let's go ahead and get these out. All right, let's see what we get. It would be awesome if we can get one of each. I don't have this pop at all. So these are the Hades Diamond Edition. So it has a chase that's got the red Hades and then the normal one is the blue Hades. So let's go ahead and take a look. Ready? One and two and it is, that's the common one. Take a quick look at that guy. It's a really cool pop. I mean, they they kind of overdid it with Hades because they have like the common version. They have another Hot Topic exclusive version that's not diamond. So, I mean, I think this one actually looks the best. And now you got the soda coming out too. So that's pretty cool. There's the Hades. That's the common. And let's take a look at our second one. Second one. Let's see. Can we get a chase? Ready? One and a two and three hey we did get a chase check that out man i'm telling you i can i've gotten pretty lucky recently with some of these hot topic chase roulettes that this is this is a great one because this is one i really wanted so this is going straight into my collection for sure that looks awesome check that out there's hades chase diamond edition really nice you got to be on the lookout for when they restock these because you can get them for a really good deal especially if you get them during hot cash you can get you know get them for like six or seven bucks instead of you know 15 so anyway there's hades awesome all right next one i got is a, another mercari pickup so let's take a look at this one this one actually fits the theme of that stan lee that i showed you a little earlier because it is also what I would consider to be like a non-traditional superhero. And it is, if you can see it already, it is Crypto. I've been looking for this one for a while um, because it, it does fit kind of like my collection and it, it recently started climbing in value. I was actually able to get this for 20 bucks and now it's it's really hard to get it for even like double or triple that the box is a little bit beat up right here not terrible it probably happened in shipping because it didn't look like that in the pictures but it's not terrible so no complaints but there is crypto the super dog yeah this was one that you should definitely be on the lookout if you could find it I'll, if i if i remember to do it i'll put up like a screenshot from mercari because it's kind of crazy you see people have this listed for like 20 bucks and then another listing for like a hundred dollars and then another listing for eighty dollars and then another listing for thirty dollars so this one is clearly on the rise for sure uh, so be on the lookout for this one if you want to grab it there's a movie coming out and that's probably a lot to do with it but there is crypto super dog all right i got two more boxes this next one is actually a brand new box that just came in the mail today so just in time for me to film this video and this was somebody who is just super generous and reached out to me because they knew that I collected this line of pops and she reached out um, and said hey I know you were collecting this and I live 
you know, really close to Funko and I got an extra one. So if you'd like it, I'd be happy to send it to you for retail. And I was like, you're, you're way too generous. And she did a really awesome job packaging this. This is the Bigfoot. This is brand new. So you guys probably only just recently saw this pop showing up on Instagram and everywhere else. But there is the Bigfoot with the marshmallow. This is the Funko HQ exclusive. He's got the marshmallow on his stick. That looks amazing. So yeah, this is one gonna go straight to the personal collection and thank you very much. You know who you are, who helped me out with that one. So appreciate it. There is Bigfoot. All right, and our last box is also from Hot Topic. This was also a hot cash type of deal. And this one was actually inspired by watching a video from Collecting Plastic. Uh, if you haven't checked out Com Collecting Plastic, uh, I'm assuming a lot of you probably have, but on his channel, he opens a lot of these Tokidoki Unicorno figures. So I decided to grab a few of those because I, I mean, I saw him opening them and I thought they looked really cool. So I figured we could do a little, little roulette on these guys and see how we could do. So on this one, this one looks like a food themed one. Let's see what we get. Who did we get? Oh, we got the, it looks like the snow cone maybe? Which one is this? Yeah, is that the snow cone? Yeah, the Aloha Corno. That is really, really cute. Let's see if it can get a focus there. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I figured worst case scenario, I'll give, the, I'll put these in my daughter's bedroom and she'll enjoy them. So there's the little unicorno. Actually, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, I have a couple of these other, these are, these didn't come from Hot Topic, but I've got this Villainous Valentine's. I have a Boo Hollow and I have a Toilet Ninja, which these, these are hilarious. Um, so I'll open these two while we're, while we're doing some little mystery minis, let's go ahead and do the the toilet ninja first. These are funny. It's just like ninjas on toilets. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory, but some of them are pretty hilarious. So we got a ninja with a plunger on this one. So there's that guy. I'll show you one of the other ones I have. Yeah, here's one of the other ones. This is one of the first ones I got where he's just kind of like peeking out of the toilet. So. Anyway, yeah, we pulled this guy today. Looks like he was a common one. All right, let's do one of these again. This one is, oh, this was one of the Mermicornos. I'm probably hopefully saying that right, Mermicornos. So this one will be like a mermaid. The chase on this one is a shark, shark bite. That would be cool. What do we get? This one is Phantasma. That's really cool. Kind of looks like a skeleton. That's neat. All right, let's do a Boo Hollow. I want. I really wanted these back at around Halloween, but of course, like a lot of shipping delays and stuff like that, so it took a little while. Let's see who we got. We got. Oh, he's like a little bat guy. I could definitely see myself trying to go after the whole set of these. Let's see how rare this one was. He is. Uh, super common, <laughs> super common, one in nine. I mean, all of them are cool, but actually, you know, sometimes they make the commons the better ones. So I do like that guy a lot. One of these houses would have been cool to get, or even this little guy with half of his head. But anyway, all right, let's do this one. This one is another unicorno, and we'll wrap it up with that villainous Valentine. So this one, the chase is either going to be lucky or cherry dragon. Let me see. My favorite's actually probably that one, the Electro Manga. That one looks really cool. Uh, so let's see. We'll see what we got. I'm sorry about my voice too. I've realized it's like cracking. I've been been a little under the weather and it's starting to get a little better, but you can tell my voice is still a little off. Let's see, who do we got? We got oh that's cool. Which one was this? This one was Flaminga. Nice. 
Yeah, so there's Flaminga. All right, our last one is this Villainous Valentine. So let's do that one. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got the little cow with the TNT. It's really cute, really funny. I really thought these were hilarious. And here are the rarities. So this one's just a common one, one out of 12. Super common would have been those guys. So we were really looking for the same cow except with like a cleaver in his hand instead. But those are really cool. This was a really cool little line that they did. I hope that they do more like this. I'm not sure how great it sold, I, I don't know. But I, I liked them a lot, so there's that little line. All right, so here's a quick look at everything that we got today. A whole lot of really awesome stuff. Pretty satisfied with this haul for today. Um, you guys let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Hopefully you liked it. I know it's a little bit different. We opened up a whole bunch of random stuff, but some really cool stuff, I think. Um, but you guys let me know down in the comments what you thought. Make sure to hit that like button before you head out. If you haven't subscribed, you got to hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when I post new videos and do all of that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.